Hello, it's Bridget. This is an audio to help call your energy back in to your center, to help you to feel more calm and in a flow of alignment. The purpose here is I am actually thinking about boundaries in addition to our roles and responsibilities that we have in our daily lives and the expectations that feel very overwhelming at times. And not just the expectations we perceive of others toward us, but that we have of ourselves internally. And that's where this topic of boundaries comes in. It's it's a tricky thing. It's kind of sticky. And so what I'd like to do as I'm pondering this is to bring our energy back into our center so we really feel that... It is a choice. Our energy is a choice. The way we breathe it, the way we share it, and the way we receive other energy, calling ourselves back into our center core is really a power, kind of a power play. So let's do that right now. Okay, so give yourself permission to just be comfortable. If you're not comfortable, adjust yourself so that you are. You can either lie down or sit in a chair. Yes, you can do this in the office, but don't do this while you're driving. Go ahead and give your permission, yourself permission to just relax into the moment, to just be here, to listen here now. Listen. Recognize that your mind will throw in thoughts, you know, guided narrative and commentary, and we'll just allow that. Just be in an awareness that your mind is going to say things to you, give you messages, because that's its job. And that during this time, anything you hear is part of the process, whether it's the copy machine in the background, a ringer going off on your phone, a dog barking, whatever it may be in your environment, just allow it to be there and to coexist in a peaceful flow state. Allowing the energy to move around you and not to have the need to control it is essential for you in this choice of energy and calling your energy back into you. Not because you are protecting it or keeping it safe, but because you're choosing to be close, be connected and close with your own energy, be intimate with your own energy. And through this own intimacy with your own energy, you will be able to then recognize what is a fit for you externally with other energies that come into you and what is not a fit for you. And when the thoughts and the commentary or the narrative is introduced that is not really your narrative, it's someone else's perhaps from a long time ago. And if it doesn't serve you, then you can turn the dial, adjust your alignment, adjust your energy to receive something else that's more palatable to you and serves you better, more pump you up kind of energy vibes instead of old school trying to discipline and control. This is really about that flow. So recognize that your mind is going to have responses and be frustrated and your body even might feel uncomfortable. You might feel hot. You might feel some things as we unfold here in this connection space and just allow it. Be an awareness. Just recognize it. Oh, that's that. Call it out. Allow it to be here. That's an important thing. Let things show up for you. Even annoyances, let them show up. Disruptions, let them show up. Allow that. That's a natural part of the process. It's not, we can't control things to overcome our own energy challenges, our own stressors and pressures. We have to coexist in a harmonious way and in flow with energy. But that's not to give up your own desires. It's not to give up what you need. That's not what this is about. So feel into the core bottom of your heart. Usually there's a spot right below the kind of the bottom of the rib cage, right before we go into the solar plexus. So the heart chakra and solar plexus are activated and there's a spot right at the bottom of that heart and the sternum area. And feel into that. See if you can imagine that space. Okay, so imagine like an image of an x-ray of a rib cage and right at the bottom of that sternum, that space right there, that's exactly where we're going to be right now. Okay, so as you're breathing in and exhaling out, let your mind imagine the image that I just shared and let your body breathe in and out, feeling that space. So you can actually physically put your hand on your body at that, that point if you like, if that helps you. And breathe in. And exhale out. 
let's be in recognition of how important the exhale is. That the exhaling allows energy to move away so that you can then recognize that what you draw back into you, what you pull towards you is your choice. So exhale helps to release the excess, get away the chaos, allow stuff that's just stagnant, drier, linty dust to just move away. Okay, so breathing in right to that spot, right at that low heart space, right at the base of that sternum. Just breathe in. And exhale out. Sometimes you will find, and let your breath just be natural now, you will find most certainly that there will be times when it's hard to take a breath in. And that's because there's so much held up in that core part right there. There's so much held up there, just stuck there, stagnant there, just pushing up, pushing up on the chest. And that's not fun. And that's not helpful. So if you can't take a nice in-breath, just right away, just exhale out, just go, just kind of puff air out. Just puff air out. And then you'll find naturally, without focusing on an inhale, you'll recognize that your body will adjust and you will naturally in the rhythm breathe in. And you'll start to breathe deeper in, deeper in, deeper in, so you can exhale out. So easy, simple rhythm. All right. So as you're doing that, now allowing your breath to just be comfortable. If you need to do this more, go ahead. Again, focus on that area, the low sternum. Put your hand there if you need to. Breathe in and then exhale out. With awareness and recognition of the space. So the natural intention is to expand this space, to move out what's ever stagnant, to get things moving and flowing. Flow is the key for that energy for you. Okay, whenever somebody comes to me and they say they're stuck, or they're feeling stuck, or they have a heaviness, a heavy heart, or they feel um, excess worry or a lot of agitation in the heart, whether it's at the top of the heart, like toward the throat chakra, which is often an anxiety, uh, worry, energy gathering space. This low part of the sternum tends to be the place where if we can activate and create some space for it, the energy can settle down and in and expand in a way that dissipates the anxiety or relieves the stress and the pressures in the upper heart. Okay, it relieves that stressful energy that's blocked up at the top at that throat chakra. And we want the throat chakra to be open and flowing because that's your communication channel. That is clarity and communication. That is connection. And that needs to be a a passageway that is free from clutter for you. That needs to be a really safe place for you energetically in that throat chakra. We can't have you feeling like you don't have the words or don't have a voice or are not able to express what you need. The most important thing is to be able to express what it is that you need and to articulate that, to take the energy information that you have, to expand and create space so everything is flowing then you can feel so much more in your truth and confident about what you need to communicate and what you need, the needs, sometimes get confused with the wants. And the truth of the matter is, especially for us as women, when we have a want, it almost feels like that's not important because how dare I have a want? There are people starving in such and such country. There are people this and that so much worse off than I am. Therefore, I should not want. And so instantly our wants are put to the bottom of the list, which is normal. That's just normal. But what happens is, is our basic needs, our needs, not basic like Maslow's hierarchy, food, clothing, shelter, but basic needs of flow, energetic support, alignment, uh, to feel good, to feel better, to have the choice energetically of how we are interacting and connecting with the world and what is required or requested of us. We have choice and our needs, we need, need to be healthy energetically. We need to be in a positive mindset energetically. These are needs that are essential as food, clothing, and shelter. These are needs that we have that we mix up with wants. Oh, I want to feel better. 
oh, I want to do this or I want to do that. And really, the word need should be inserted in that. I want to take a yoga class. I want to read a book about X, Y, or Z that I know will inspire me. I want to have more positive thoughts. I want to not be so stressed. I want to just let go of this stressful energy. Those aren't wants, my dear. Those are needs. So here is a, and this activation, here is a takeaway. Consider adding, whenever you say I want, say I need, and feel the truth of the need statement. Even if you're at the grocery store and you say, oh, I want that donut. Oh, yes, I do. I want that donut. Say, I need that donut. And see what the truth is. Is it really? Do you really need that? Maybe your blood sugar is low and you're like, your body is saying, I need that because I need to soothe this blood sugar need. Like right now, eat that, eat that donut or eat that candy bar, man. I need that. Or is that? I need that donut. I need that insert the thing. I need that coffee. What is the need addressing? Because the needing of it, it's not just a want, it's a need. It's a core need. What is the need of it addressing for you? What is the truth of the need? What is underneath the need? Just try it like that. And I recognize that that's like an impulsive, almost a energy when I give that example of food, for example, and that's going to, but that's going to hit home for a lot of people. So insert instead of, I want that, I need that. Or even if it's something like a car and you see that car and you're like, oh, oh, I want that car. Say, I need that car. And then feel in your body. Is there any truth to that? Like, is there anything that comes after that or not? If there's not, then it's not really a need. It's not a core need of energy. It might be though, however, a need to dream a need to think bigger about your life, a need to really dig in and start manifesting some cool opportunities and options for you. So you have freedom to do that, to experience that awesome car, how pretty it is, how, how it feels to ride in it, that kind of energy. Maybe there is a need for freedom because maybe it was a convertible, woohoo, for example. So give yourself permission to take the word want and adjust it insert need instead and give yourself this perspective. What a unique perspective this is. This will help you with understanding expectations, how you perceive the wants and needs of others, how you perceive and judge your own wants, your own needs, and how we classify our needs into our want category, which are optional. And those are things we shouldn't need or want. We should be just fine. We should be fine as we are. No, that's not true. That is a myth that is an energy misnomer, that is a mind misunderstanding about life and humanity and a desire for perfection to keep us safe and not to create any kind of uh, additional emotions or feelings around failure or not enough or lacking in our value. And so this, I hope that this activation will give you some insight and information with that need and want, that simple need and want statement And in addition to breathing right underneath that sternum, just really breathe in and exhale out. And that just creates space. It opens it up. And then it calls the energy right back in so that you can then discern, oh, I want this, I want this, I want this. Oh, I need this, I need this, and I need this. It's easier to prioritize when you turn your wants into needs and you allow yourself to identify really what is priority for you, what is primary. All right, my friends, this is Bridget. It's been my pleasure to record this, let's say, activation to support you. Thank you so much for listening.